Do you think that Belichick gave up in the fourth quarter, or did you think the game was already done, or in the third quarter when they punted from the uh, third and three from the uh, New Orleans forty? Did you think that that was an egregious mistake, or had you already written that game off? I mean, they were down twenty four to nothing. I didn't understand that decision. You know, he had explained it after the game, Fred, that until they're better on third and fourth down, he doesn't see that changing. <laughs> to me, a to me, a twenty-four nothing deficit with nine fifty-five to go in the third quarter, not the fourth quarter, the third quarter. I mean, I've seen stranger things happen, and obviously it wasn't going in their direction at that time, but that call spoke volumes it's, to me. I mean, it's not fourth and 12. No, it's no, no. fourth and three. Yeah. What, what do you think his deal is? Why, why do you think he – I know, okay, fine, he doesn't trust the team. Why do you think he did that? Is, I mean, Volan wrote something that was like he's trying to get fired. I mean, Volan was all fired up. But, I mean, why, why do you think he did that? It's, do you, it can't be just as simple as he doesn't trust his team because you, you – uh, I mean, you, you, what they punted it. They, they got to the 13. I mean, you didn't make up that many yards. What, what do you think the deal was there? Really not trusting his team. And that was it. It's hard. I mean, I honestly don't know. I, I don't know what he was thinking. I guess I'll try to rationalize it, you know, pin the saints in deep and maybe think that your defense, which is the one part of the team right now that looks fairly functional at times could make a play and maybe, you know, get you some points. I mean, Derek Carr early in the game had been a little inaccurate, so maybe that's what he was thinking. But to me, that's a hard sell. Mike, watching Belichick after these last two games, he is very aware of the corner he's painted himself into. These are his draft picks. The fact that this team doesn't have any depth speaks to all the money that he spent in the wrong places. He has wide receivers that can't get open. He's got a quarterback that's frightened. And he's just taken a beating the last two weeks. If this, taking, could, yeah, if, if taking this, a beating mentally or if, physically, if this, I understand. If, no, no, I'm asking you, taking a beating mentally or physically? Mentally, okay, mentally, okay, good. If there is, is there any scenario upon which Bill takes his takes his baseball glove and goes home that he quits before the end of the season? John, I I, I don't see that myself. Only because the people that I talk to down there tell me that he's working as hard as he ever has. And it's not for lack of time, effort, passion, investment. You know what I mean? Like, to me, that would be if if someone had said, well, this makes is sense. different. Well, that, you know what that, I mean? That, that, that makes, makes sense. But it also makes it worse. He's working as hard as he's ever worked before. And this is as bad as it's ever been. I, I can't argue with you. I just don't see. No, I just no, don't no. see him walking away. No, from but it, I see, see what you're saying. If you would think that he was gonna, if he was gonna walk away, he wouldn't be trying as hard. Now, uh, I will ask you this: do you, Are you? Do you think he's? Uh, and, and this is you're not insulting the man's intelligence. I'm saying, do you just by his his press conferences or just the time that you've spoke with him? Do you think he's slipping at all a little bit? I, I don't think from the press conferences. Well, you jammed Fred, him I mean, up pretty good, Mike. You jammed them no, up last week pretty good. No, I don't think from the – I wouldn't judge it from the press conferences as much as the the bottom line results, right? I mean, it's what we've seen the last two weeks. I mean, those are the worst two losses of his head coaching career, Fred. So I would judge it more based on that and the decisions and the team than what we're seeing I, in the press I, conferences. I would too, but there was a time in the press conference last week where you asked him about benching Mac Jones, and then you brought up Judon. And he got yeah. and he stumbled, which was a great point. And he's because you know if you're in the audience, Judon got hurt. Belichick didn't take him out of the game. And then the question after you was about Mac again, and then he just said, "Yeah." Like and then he then he then he gave the answer that he was withholding from you. So it just seemed like it, it seems like he's having a hard time explaining things now. Maybe I just you know what I'm saying. Like it's not as easily ex explainable. And they've lost before. I mean, they've had bad records before. It just, it, it just, and so, but he's not, he just seems to be, it just seems not as easy for him right now to explain what's going on. And, and, and they've been bad before. So this isn't, I mean, this yeah. is probably as bad as it's been, but, yeah. you know, they've lost terribly in the past and he's been able to wiggle out of those things. Yep. I understand what you're saying. I, I think those after game press conferences to me have always been a little tough. 
for him just because it's so soon after the game. And I always look to the next morning when he's had time to watch it over and think about it, where he's usually a little bit better on that stuff, Fred. Yeah. All right. Well, Mike, uh, this is interesting. I mean, it is interesting. It's, uh, I mean, it, how long have you been covering the team? I started in 1997 with oh, Pete Carroll. Holy moly. So, but this, the last two weeks, can you can you remember any time since 1997 that the Patriots have looked worse than they have the last two weeks back to back? Nope. Yeah, it's weird. Nope. It's weird. I mean, because I came here in 2006, and I, I mean, it had to happen eventually. But, uh, I mean, uh, now if I'm a Patriots fan, I, I want one of them quarterbacks at the top of the draft. I don't want to be screwing around. Yeah, all right. Mike Reese, uh, excellent job. It's going to be interesting this year. Hopefully they can turn things around within the next couple of years because I don't know how long the fan base is going to stick around. But right now, I mean, it's interesting. Right now it's fascinating. All right, Mike, thank you so much. Read him. He's a hot shot. He's your writer's favorite writer. He is uh, ESPN NFL Nation. Uh, he covers the Patriots. Everyone loves him. Mike, thanks so much for the time. All right. Thanks, guys. Take Appreciate care, it. Man. There you go. Yeah. The worst the team has looked since 1997.